recording start recording yeah. 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 A very good morning to one and all. Let us invoke God blessings through prayer. Now I invite our department's professor, Mrs. Rachel Betima, to deliver the prayer. Let us begin. Loving Father, we thank you for the blessing of the new day. Father, we praise you, we thank you and honor you for all of your marvelous works. Thank you, Father, that you use each of us in your own time and way to help others. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in this institution. Lord, I submit the management to the staff in your mighty hands. Bless them, guide them. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. It's the time. Now it's the time to welcome the resource person. A very good morning to all. First, I would like to welcome Dr. J. James Manogaran. Associate Professor and Head Department of BCA for this event in his absentia. Next, I welcome our today's resource person, Dr. S. Ranjit Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of BCA, and Dr. S. Banumadi, ma'am, Assistant Professor, Department of BCA for this event. Next, I welcome the other IIC members, so staff members, students for this event. Once again, I welcome you, one and all. Now, now I request Suti Baba. Now I request Suti Baba Second BCA to introduce our today's resource person. Good morning to one and all. A very warm greeting to each and every one of you. On behalf of the organizing committee, we extend our appreciation for your presence today. The journey to obtain knowledge and finally come to an important issue. Change almost never fails because it is too early. It almost always fails because it is too late. Too late. Without further ado, let us now start our program by welcoming our resource person, S, uh, Dr. S. Ranjit Kumar, Assistant Professor of Computer Application, and S. Banumati Mam, uh, Assistant Professor of Computer Application. I am super excited about the conversation we will get to have today. We have these two amazing resource persons who have collection of achievement in his life. Our resource person, S. Banumati, has have various achievements. He, uh, he also attended, uh, she also attended various uh, conference, seminar and workshop uh, on national level. Uh, he also con uh, attended uh, a national level conference on youth and values. Three days Pandas Data Valgaling Bootcamp, Pandas Data Valgaling Bootcamp, one week FD on blockchain with cyber security, master class on essential of patent analytics. Impact of digital marketing techniques on startups. Uh, 
ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಅವರು ಮೈ ಜಿಯೋ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಜಿಯೋ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬಿಲ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಇಷ್ಟ
I hope the presentation screen is visible to everyone. Uh, today we are going to uh, uh, see the topic uh, that is the design thinking and uh, critical thinking. So we are first going to uh, talk about design thinking. Uh, before going into the topic, we will see what is actually design thinking. The, uh, almost the meaning of the word, meaning of the sentence is uh, in there itself. Design thinking, you are going to create a new design. Uh, so this is a formal definition of uh, design thinking. Design thinking is a migrative, uh, non-linear way of working. It takes to understand users and solve problems. So naturally, in the design thinking, the main aim is to solve the problem. So in a simple word, if you want to put design thinking in a single sentence, uh, we can tell that design thinking is approach. We are going to solve the problem. We are going to solve the problem and we are going to adapt some method. So what is that method of solving the problem? That going to this. So it is a non-linear way. This is a straightforward way. Non-linear way in the sense it is a straightforward method to solve the problem. Solve the problem in the sense we are going to solve that is uh, all the problem of any any problem for, for them for themselves or for their uh, surroundings the, the designers they are they are used they are going to solve the problem of the user and for that they are going to adapt their approach that approach we call it as a design thinking so design thinking is a simple approach to solve a problem it is an iterative non-linear way iterative in the sense you all very well know what is called iterative. So iterative in the sense we are going to repeat the process. Now we will see what are all the steps involved in uh, design thinking. Generally there are uh, five steps in the design thinking process. We are having five steps. Problem solving. The first step we call it as empathize. So empathize is the first step. And the second step we call it as define, and the third step we call it as ideate, and fourth step we call it as prototype, and fifth step we call it as a test. Okay, so these are the five different phases or five different uh, steps involved in solving a problem, solving a problem of a user using a design thinking method. So this is a uh, five steps involved. In so we will see. The meaning for it. 
சுற்றி வாங்கிட்டு சொல்கிறேன் நான் வாங்கிட்டு சபரி சவுண்டே வரல சபரி சபரி சவுண்ட் வரல பேசுறது சவுண்டு கேட்கல சத்தம் கேட்கல நமக்கு So I think now the five faces uh, is uh, displayed I hope and these are the five different uh, faces of uh, design thinking five different faces or five different uh, steps involved in design thinking process so the first process is called empathize as i said you are going to understand the people people in the sense you are going to understand the problem what what the, what sort of problem if the people is the user is facing that is the first step then the second step is go you are going to define you are going to identify exactly what is the problem that is uh, faced by the particular user and third step is ideate you are going to generate your idea how uh, what kind of uh, uh, i mean uh, you, are, you are going to generate the idea to solve the problem you are going to build a model model of your uh, build a model a real time model you are going to build it and then after that you are going to test this test your model so these are the five basic steps of design thinking the same thing we have i have been giving in the next step that is uh, phase 1 that is phase 1 is this problem definition problem definition is what the same we have here, here we saw about empathizing empathizing we call it as uh, problem definition here okay selecting a focus user okay you are going to select a particular user and you are going to clearly understand and the problem of this or her problem you are going to understand it. that is the phase number 1 then phase number 2 we are going to find out the needs okay what is the need that is uh, uh, in here define the problem so define is phase number 2 we are going to find out exactly Uh, what is the problem faced by the user then we are going to generate the ideas so phase 3 is generating the ideas okay you are creating you can create you can as many as ideas you can create and you prototype model and from that model you are going to uh, you are going to test that model and if you are having any uh, queries or any setback in the model you are again coming back and you can redefine the get a new idea that and all you can you can you will do it because it is a iterative process okay so first we will see empathy as i said empathy means understanding the people that is you are going to understand what what sort of problems this time thinking process and um, it, uh, to know uh, to understand the people we have to discuss with the experts Okay. from discussing with the expert you can find out what is the problem overall problem second is figuring out the problem exactly we are coming we are uh, coming down to the problem we are going to the second step is called define phase in the design phase what you are going to do is you are putting all the information what you have gathered in the previous step that is in the empathy step you are going to put all the information and then finally you are coming out the exact problem what is the exact problem the user is facing so this is called define phase and the third is this is a brainstorming session that is we are going to generate ideas so we know the uh, problem right from the previous two steps we have figured out the problem so exactly the problem is identified now to solve the problem we need some ideas so the third step is we are going to generate the ideas then this step actually is a brainstorming session we have to Uh, generate lot of ideas your team members will discuss with you you have to discuss with your team members and you have to come up with the good ideas and uh, one one will tell the this idea is good one may tell that there is some uh, change in idea so you have to you should have a team work in this step and uh, more than one team member uh, should be involved in this idea generating process so collectively if you, if you come up with a um, process you can get a better idea so if, if you are coming with a single person the idea ideas uh, are not you um, may not come with the best best idea so uh, this step is actually a brainstorming session and very important step in the design thinking process so we have to generate a idea to solve the problem 
and uh, this is a teamwork so a lot of members would be involved in creating the ideas then once the idea is created now we have to pre- now we have to transform this idea into a model so that transformation is called prototype so prototype is a exactly the product model model of product final product what we deliver to the user so that is called prototype so here you will be generating a lot of products different versions of products you will be generating and uh, you are going to find out whether this product is based upon the problem whether this uh, product is resembling the problem or not you are you will be uh, in the previous steps you made a identified the problem and you are based on the problem you have generated an idea and based on the idea you have created a model and now you are going to check whether this model is actually solving the problem of the user or not okay then the the test this is a very important step that is you are going to test the uh, test your product test your model and with the real implementation so with, with the real implementation you are going to find out whether your models whether the model generated is actually uh, solving the problems of the user or not if it is not done then what to do that we will see in the next part that is as i said design thinking is a non linear process it is a iterative process iterative process means you can come back from last step to first step see here the empathizing means empathizing is uh, uh, understanding the problem of the user then you are exactly identifying the user uh, user problem that is defined and in ideate you are going to generate the ideas of the user i mean ideas for, to solve the problem then you are going to develop a model that is called prototype after that prototype you are going to test it suppose if during the test phase you are feeling that uh, you are you have not understood the problem properly so again i am coming back to the first step learn about user through uh, so again i am coming and again I'm starting from the first step okay and suppose uh, in the prototype i am i have built the wrong prototype i have built the product wrong so i am coming again and i am generating the regenerating idea so i am changing my idea and in the test step i am feeling that my ideas are not uh, good uh, so again i am coming back to the idea and i am generating a new idea okay and in the test step i am finding that my problem i have understood uh, i have misunderstood misunderstood the problem so i am redefining the problem so why it is so like this means so so only i have already said in the initial step design thinking is an iterative process so you can start from last to first okay this um, if i if i am clearly understand the problem if i am clearly define the problem if i if my ideas are good if I, my product uh, if my product prototype is good and my test will be good and there is no need of iteration suppose if i fail if i make some mistake in defining a problem or if i make some mistake in uh, developing the prototype or if i make if my ideas are not good i have to go back and i have to start the previous step that is the reason why design thinking is a iterative process it is a non linear process non linear in the sense it is a straight forward process and another why it is called iterative i have said this is it is an iterative because you can start from any any uh, any step back Okay. If the during the test test phase, if I am not satisfied with the problem identification, I can go back to the uh, definition. I can figure out the problem again. I can uh, again uh, uh, generate new ideas. Even I can generate new prototype, and you can come back to the last step. So that is the reason why design thinking is called as an iterative process. And uh, now, uh, in a one word, in a one sentence, you can put what is called the design thinking. What is the main aim of design thinking is? you have to bring the design thinking is a process to bring your ideas to the real life and by putting users at the center of every process so the main aim of design thinking is you have to satisfy the users okay you have to solve the problems of the user through your design through your product through your product product and keeping users at the center the main in focus who is the Um, main uh, uh, person here is the user. The final user is the main person. So you have to satisfy the user's requirement. So in such a way, your design thinking process should be done. So now we this is about the design thinking. So this is the design thinking, and it's several phases we have just saw, and uh, and also we have saw why it is called an iterative process. And the main uh, real time case studies. We may have heard about the U Uber's. 
and uh, Ola and then even Zomatoes. These are all the products uh, which came out of design thinking only. So, and many companies like Apple, Samsung, and uh, even Google, they are all uh, developed, in, uh, developed due to the design thinking process. So they understood the problem of the user and they came up with a, a clear, clear problem. Then they came, they generated an idea. Then they implemented this idea in a product. And finally, they have achieved success in solving the uh, user's problem. And now I'll give you a uh, uh, case study demonstration how the design thinking benefited a hotel industry. So this is actually a case study where um, we can hear about uh, one particular um, hotel management system called Airbnb. This is a US-based uh, hotel uh, uh, industry. Actually, this is uh, similar to what we are having like uh, uh, Trivio, Go Buy, uh, and uh, Make My Trip. Like that, we are having several uh, uh, companies here in, in our in our country. So these these and these websites are used in booking the hotel rooms and other um, uh, amenities for travel. When you're going for a travel to another country or some, some uh, another part of the state, another part of the uh, place, uh, these companies are helping for the users to book the uh, hotel rooms and other uh, um, transfer for transformation. Though. So this is one kind of um, kind of service only this Airbnb is doing. So initially this Airbnb uh, it is started by a two uh, person, two friends. They have started this company. Um, uh, one um, um, based on the design thinking process. Actually, their aim is not to start this company. Actually, but they want to uh, they want to generate a money for their conference. The two of the friends they are working in US. They want to go to attend the conference conference, but they are not having money. So to generate the money, they have rented a part of their home. Okay, they are, they are living in an apartment. They have uh, rented a part of their ap ap apartment to an uh, external person. They paid some money and started using that money. They attended the conference. It is their motive to generate money for to attend the conference. That's all. But later they understood the problem that many people who are coming to that uh, place they are not able to uh, stay properly. So uh, many are many of them are having um, place. I mean, they, many of them are having apartments, but uh, they are not able to generate the money. So this idea came for them and they started this uh, company and they have developed into company. And this is the number one uh, company in the world, in, uh, number one hot, uh, hotel management company in the world. Now just have a look, of, look on this, how design thinking made uh, two persons to, uh, to create a company and uh, the company was one. One of the leading hotel management companies in the world. Just listen how the design thinking process is applied to uh, to this to this uh, company.
and uh, uh, sorry students i think due to some network issues uh, this videos may not be properly played on your part but i am giving the link of this particular video in the chat box when you are having time just go through this video and this particular uh, case study is dealing about a company called airbnb this airbnb is a particular uh, company i saw the friends in us and uh, uh, they started for solving their own money problem for attending the conference just they rented a part of the apartment and then to the to the users and then they generated the money to that uh, for their conference then later they converted this idea uh, into a business business model and they developed into a largest uh, hotel management system in the world so have a look on this uh, video it is clearly talking about how design thinking process is applied and how it benefited a true young entrepreneurs and how uh, uh, two of them have developed a largest company without any uh, large investment so this is a success of the design thinking process and uh, i have given uh, uh, just a uh, uh, overview of design thinking process right so what are the things to which we have built this uh, Design thinking process is a five-step process in which we'll be starting with empathy. Empathy means we are going to connect with the users' need exactly. Then, from them, you are going to find out the problem, what problem the user is facing. Then, to solve the problem, we are going to generate an idea. Then. Uh, you can uh, give to the user, or else you are going to uh, trace back, and you are going to iterate the process. So this is called uh, this is what we are talking. This is what we are um, uh, calling it as a design thinking process. So this process is applied by the major companies of the world, like Google and um, Apple, Samsung, and all major companies. They come out of, uh, into a big success because they applied this design thinking process to solve the. users needs and thank you uh, arli ma'am for giving me an opportunity to, to talk about this uh, design thinking process and if any of them are having any queries you can ask or else we can move to the next session of uh, critical thinking and i will share this uh, particular um, link of this uh, case study and uh, When you are free, you can go through that uh, link, and you can find out how this design process is applied for a uh, for the Airbnb company, and you can know the importance of this design thinking process. I have shared the uh, YouTube link also in the chat box. Thank you, sir. And if there are any any queries, you can ask. Any Or queries? go to the next second session of uh, critical thinking thank you sir okay now i request dr s banumati ma'am to share her ideas ma'am please thank you ma'am thank you very much thank you ma'am Good morning, students. First of all, I want to thank uh, our department, actually, Dr. Uh, J. James Manohar Sir and uh, IIC member Dr. Arlen Suji Ma'am, and uh, who uh, give this opportunity uh, for taking this session on uh, critical thinking. 
actually the critical thinking is uh, one okay. so we are having a lot of types of uh, thinking uh, normally in school days uh, few people hear that uh, uh, the teachers usually said that uh, you have a good thinking process your thinking level is very low you have to improve that like this lot of statements speaking notes what it really means it means a lot Finally, for the education purpose, really helpful to you uh, for making a decision in your life. This is your, uh, you should know this Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, here, uh, actually, our curriculum is based on this Bloom's taxonomy, or what you have studied in your syllabus, concepts, everything is based on this taxonomy. Uh, initial level is called as uh, remember level. Whereas, whereas you just hear the concepts and recall the concepts. After uh, remembering that, the next level is understanding level. Whereas you really understand the concepts what teacher about in the classrooms. After understanding that, without underst uh, uh, without understanding and leaving it in the classrooms, that's not a matter. The real matter is that after understanding that, you have to apply that idea or concept in the real problems. So that cognitive level is up after applying it. After or you are thinking that you want to apply that uh, idea in the problem means. Uh, you have to analyze whether it will be going to give a, a proper solution or what all the methods you need to follow to give a good solution. All those things you need to analyze. After that, after analyzing that, you have to evaluate. Evaluate in the sense you need to examine the information or the solution uh, to make a judgment on that. Then uh, it will create a good product. So this is the uh, idea. Uh, uh, which is related with the cognitive skills of the student. Uh, but what actually we uh, usually do in our classroom is that uh, we just hear what the professors have uh, instructed, uh, professors have given us a material, we just collect the materials, we read it, we remember, we remember it for the exam purpose. We, if we are not ready to apply all those concepts to the real problems. So that is uh, uh, that's very very important. Uh, so uh, this numbering and understanding will be called as the lower order thinking. It's, it's not at all that uh, much enough for uh, uh, students uh, to achieve in a good. So if you want to achieve a more means, you have to go beyond of uh, uh, level of applying creating a uh, model or a prototype or a product. Okay. So, if you think about the 21st century skills, so we are all know that we are in a uh, very competitive world uh, for attending an interview or for uh, uh, facing a problem or uh, to make a decision. Everything, a lot of skills. But what we normally know is software is only uh, the skill to come up all those things. That, that's all. That's one of the skills. But you are having a lot of skills which is needed to improve you. Uh, that's communication skill, higher order thinking skills, creativity, innovation, critical thinking, problem solving. Whereas the critical thinking is one part of the skills. Okay. And I can merge all these skills into the Bloom stacks. Okay. So, uh, uh, in polymer, what are all the things we can do? For understanding, what are all the things we can do? Likewise, I can merge it. We can merge it. Uh, simply, we can say that uh, the critical thinking is nothing but identifying the problem and taking the problem and giving a solution to the problem. Okay. This is a critical thinking process. And uh, first, we should know what is critical thinking and why we need it, why it is really important to, to know that concept only. We have first came to the basic skills, what are all the skills as a student you need. So now we want what is critical thinking. But critical thinking is nothing but act of analyzing the fact to understand the problem or topic thoroughly. We need to understand the problem thoroughly. 
So it includes a lot of steps. The steps are collecting the data, asking the uh, questions, and analyzing the possible solutions. So these are all the steps involved in this. For example, we are working in a we are working as a human resources uh, in a team. Uh, if any conflicts arises between the two employee means, how you will handle that situation, how you will understand the real conflict and give a solution to solve the problem. So this is a real time example. And why uh, the critical thinking is important for the students? It's important because to educate themselves for the rest of their life. Okay, so not a, uh, all the time we feel experience in life. Uh, so any time the problem can come. What we have to do is that we have to think and analyze the problem to uh, give a solution or to take a solution. Okay, so this is necessary for success uh, to getting in many. Things. And uh, we are actually uh, the critical thinkers are less likely to go along with the crowd. Uh, they are uh, their thinking level is in a uh, higher order, and uh, they, they are uh, such a unique people. Okay, normally you think the child, and the child wants something means she adamantly uh, adamantly go again and again for getting. It. Uh, she never uh, drops on that. Okay, so this is what we are actually like. uh, <laughs> ஒருத்தி <laughs> Life decision is the skill of the brain. If you have a problem, what we have to do is that we have to listen. We are having a lot of components on it. So these are all various components in critical things. First, you should listen. Listen the problem. And uh, we need to have a proper explanation for that problem. ஒன்ஷன் <laughs> Okay. So these are all the various components existing critical thinking, reasoning, explanation, possibility, fairness, objectivity, evaluation, analysis. So these components needed to be improved among students. So what are all the skills are involved in, uh, involved with the critical thinking? The analysis, the ability to analyze and effectively evaluate the situation. and inference so after analyzing or understanding the how to derive what is really happened what is the problem really how come to the conclusion that's called inference then self regulation when you uh, evaluating your process of gain knowledge you can get a perfect solution that is very very important. then open mind respecting the suggestions of others whenever you are working in a team in a company or in a college space means if you are in a team in a society means you have to respect the suggestion of others okay next problem solving once you have identified a problem analyzing it and execute the problem for providing the solution so these are all the five important skill which is merged with critical thinking 
So how can I develop the critical skills? I can uh, develop uh, my thinking skills uh, starting from the critical thinking. So the critical thinking is nothing but I have to reasoning the problem, understand the problem, analyze the problem, and I want to give the solution to the problem. So from the critical thinking, so actually it is the bottom level. From the critical thinking only, you can uh, move to the next step. Thinking level, they can move to the innovation level and collaboration working in the team level, then we are having a better communication skill. Okay, so if you are uh, happen to do all these thinking skills, means uh, you may get your innovation level in a higher. Level. So, what, how, how can I develop my skills? I know that I am lagging in the skills, but I want to develop the critical thinking skills. How can I develop? Them? I can develop using some strategies. So these are all the seven key strategies to develop the critical thinking. So first, emotional intelligence. Second is observing and listening. Okay. Third is keep learning. Fourth is question everything. Don't accept everything as it is. Try to question it. The, we are all know the WH question. What, why, that. So likewise, you ask the question, if it give answers to all the questions, then you analyze, be open-minded, uh, you can accept the suggestions coming up from others if you're working in a team and be functional, not only taking into the uh, conceptual uh, things, you just move into the real practice and act without bias. So without any uh, conflicts you have to keep all these things to improve your critical thinking so what are all the examples uh, students can try to solve a complex problem in order to get a correct answer for example you are having a one um, project uh, problem you want to give a solution to the problem what you have to do is that you have to analyze the problem frame the hypothesis problem statement for that then after uh, identifying the problem states how to find the requirements what are all the things are needed uh, to solve that particular problem statement then you are developing a design using a design thinking process then you are uh, implementing the project finally you are going for a good product and going for maintenance so this is a step-by-step -step process what we have to do is that in each step you have to think what is really uh, going, what is happening and you are based on the situation, based on the level of complexity, you need to take a decision. Okay. Next example is story writer. Someone who organizes ideas for stories plot while also paying attention to the complex beliefs and personalities of fictional characters. You know, we have all uh, a lot of stories. You know, in stories, we are having a lot of characters. Uh, the characters has been characterized with the different personalities. Whenever you are uh, coming up a lot of characters, we try to remember it and analyze why this character is like this. Why? The, uh, the author gives more importance to these characters. Likewise, uh, we have to think that for the purpose only, or the professors usually insisted all the students to read the more new books, not only the academic oriented books. Uh, you just read a lot of uh, uh, non academic books, a lot of uh, stories, novels, just to improve your thought level, improve your thinking level. And a lot and uh, move to the some other space, the group of scientists working meticulously uh, through a complex experiment in order to collect and analyze the data. We just think that a lot of scientists are working, uh, they are working in the team. If any problem comes in their experiment means they have to collectively think and uh, they have to analyze the problem to provide the solution. So whenever the conflicts or problem arises in the workplace or in the developing places or in the society, we have to listen it, observe it, analyze it and try to provide the solution. So this, this basic uh, process is called as critical thinking skill. So how we can promote that critical thinking skill among the students? Ask questions, ask questions, then brainstorming things. Think, think that, then communicate the solutions. After getting the solutions to the problem, communicate the solution to the teammates and get suggestions from them. Then analyze the information. 
and encourage the decision making process and inspire the creative so this is not only for the college level it's really useful for you in the life oriented decision making and also if you are considering your uh, uh, innovative problems you are having some innovative uh, you want some innovations to solve the problem means you can uh, find these steps to promote your thinking level so how can i uh, ask questions what are all the implications why it's very important what is another way to look at it we have to think of another side of it not only in one view we have to think in multiple view of that particular question to identify the better solution okay so we have to ask questions and uh, which reflect our own thinking process and to identify what particular form of critical thinking we are in if you are in lagging of that particular skill means try to improve it at least in the classroom try to ask some questions to the professors to improve your skill and uh, do your project by analyzing the problem really and try to find more than one solution identify more than one solution and find a better solution by communicating with your friends so in a home how you can develop the critical thinking you just think critically as a habit you just make that uh thinking as a habit okay so for everything you just ask a question debate everything and uh, provide access to a different and quality reading materials and uh, practice in a claim evidence reason try to solve everything as a problem statement and uh, give a solution that's called uh, assertion reason what are all the possible solutions more number of solutions i can give practice that. help them learn from everything try to learn everything uh, from everything uh even from your friends you can learn he is maybe some good uh, having some good characters or having some good skills you just try to learn from it make a critical thinking as a game and as a mindset explore the benefits so what are all the benefits i can have benefits is that you can express your view point in a better way if you are thinking critically and analyzing the problem or the situation you can express it in a better way and it, it will boost your creativity if you are uh, everybody having a normal solution if you are uh, really a critical uh, thinking person means you will give a better creative solution for that and it will helps you in self study you can analyze yourself what are all the improvements you are really uh, happened after having that skill as a practice and uh, improvement in grades uh in academic level or in a competitive examination level it will really helpful to you for uh, performing it well then personality development so overall development in the personality which helps you to uh, give a more confidence in yourself to achieve any type of uh, problem okay so students can be a very self motivated attitude to become very self motivated attitude. so i want to finish the session with this quote education is not the learning of facts but training the mind to think so listen think analyze and provide solution not only for the academic problem for innovative things and also for your real life thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you arlin ma'am a okay, very good afternoon everyone i am dr k arlin suji assistant professor department of bga i am humbled to stand here and deliver the vote of thanks first and foremost i want to thank the god almighty for showering upon us his upon upon him for helping us to make this event a grand success i thank dr j james manoharan associate professor and head bga department for his continuous support i thank our today's resource person dr s ranjit kumar sir assistant professor and dr s banumati ma'am for sharing your valuable thoughts and ideas thank you sir and ma'am thank you ma'am i thank other staff members and iac member and i also thank the student organizers sabari and suti for their support once again i thank you one and all thank you Okay if
attendance link is shared students kindly fill the form thank you banam banam ah photo ke no rendu kada photo ஒரு <laughs> இப்ப பாரு கட்லெட் கொடுத்துறீங்களா ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் கட்லெட் கொடுத்துருங்களா ரெண்டு பேருக்கும் கட்லெட் கொடுத்துருங்களா ஓகே க்ளோஸ